my pranams to you. Many people ask me one question. Generally in my speech I criticize the atheist and why I do so. My dear friends and well wishers, I would like to say it is not my job to criticize anybody in the world. If I have foolproof or if and only if I am perfect, then only I have got the freedom to criticize others. I am only pointing out some of the abnormalities and biased way of looking only a group of people by the atheists. If you are free to criticize anybody, criticize everybody for their negatives. If you are an atheist, use the great quality of an atheist against all negatives existing in the world, particularly in India. If you are a painter, do the painting uniformly about or on the pupil whom you want to do painting. <laughs> if you are a story writer, write the story about Hindus, Christians and Muslims in the same way. I mean with the different themes. If if you wanted to do something, do it uniformly. Your freedom for doing that, nobody will curtail, nobody will resist it, nobody will stop it. But if you are doing something against only a particular group of people, that shows that you are biased. That is what I explained about Emma Hussain. He was biased and he was against Hindu <coughs> mental stature or he was against Hindu feelings even I would like to say same thing is applicable for atheist also they criticize only Hindu customs and rituals Hindu beliefs Hindu concept Hindu books and so on but they will never touch the Christian approach on customs and rituals or Bible or Quran or the Islamic Hajj or throwing stone against the Satan, they will never criticize Christians and Muslims. If they are the true democratic atheists, we expect that they criticize anything negative anywhere in the world, particularly in India, because if they are from India. So atheists are expected to be unbiased, straightforward, truthful, dharmic, in their own way in pointing out the negatives of the society or group of people so that scientific temper, rational thinking and logical analysis can be built up in the people. It should be the ultimate aim of an atheist. Rational, logical and scientific thinking should be inculcated in the people. Instead of that, if the atheist think that I should create a rational, logical and scientific thinking only in Hindus, then that is something mental abnormality. That is what Pavanan did. That is what Joseph Edamaruga did. That is what Kalanadhan is doing nowadays. Because if your approach is straightforward and unbiased, definitely people will take it. Again, I would like to say survival of the noblest is the principle of India. It is not the survival of the fittest. There may not be millions of atheists in India, maybe few hundred people. That is enough for changing the society if they are truthful, dharmic and straightforward. They are not truthful, they are not dharmic, they are not straightforward. They want to make money through membership and building an organization sitting in the position as a secretary or president of the atheist association by criticizing only Makarat Jyoti of Sabarimala, by criticizing only the Hindu rituals, by criticizing only Ramayana, Mahabharata or Vedas. I would like to say that if they are coming forward for criticizing and protesting the liquor and the slaughter of animal in the name of God, whether it is in Parashini Kadava, or St. George Church in Adapalli or Nakulam, then we can also go with them. 
against the animal slaughter done, whether it is Muslims during Hajj period or it is Christian in the St. George Church, Adapalli, Kochi, Kerala, or in Parasini Kadavu Temple of Hindus. If they are unbiased, all the negatives should be looked into the same way and people should be trained to avoid the negatives that the atheists are not doing. They are taking only one issue against Hindus and they take issues only about one group, that to Hindus. And that is the biased approach. It is hypocrisy. That cannot be entertained. It should be brought to the notice of people. Earlier there were so many intellectuals in Kerala. Now almost all of them died. They were always pampering. They were always uplifting or elevating or uh, even, even honoring all the negatives of Christianity and Islam. At the same time, they will never even go to the platform of Hindus, not even temple, but they wanted to get the status of an intellectual. Buddhi Jeevigal is the word used in Kerala. That type of useless intellectuals are there in India also. They think that when the whole thing happened in India over their head, many of them inside and outside they are bald. Because they may be having a special type of moustache and beard also to project that they are intellectuals. And they pamper the group which give them award and they get award when they give 10,000 rupees to the organization. Organization give back 5,000 rupees and a certificate and a shawl and a small memento. The name, the Modern Memorial Award is given to so and so intellectual. The money is given by the intellectual to the organization and it is taken back partly as the award. This was and this is the criteria of many of the intellectuals, such type of words and such type of people died. Not physically, but intellectually they died from the mind of the common man. Because they were partial, they were biased, they were hypocritic. And if the intellectual can criticize the negatives of every community, every group of people, then naturally like Charvaka, people will respect them. But the so-called progressives, including communists, they criticize only Hindu Dharma. They will never touch the Christianity, they will never touch the Islam. So many Marxist party people are there, they will never say anything against Islam. The animal slaughter, 18 crore animals have killed during Hajj. Muslims will not say anything, will not say anything. Or uh, so-called painters will not say anything. So-called atheists also will not do anything. Politicians also keep quiet. But even something happened in Hindus, like animal slaughter in a Yajna, hue and the cry will come. In Yajna, an animal slaughter is done. I am also against that. But these intellectuals, these atheists are expected to react not only for Hindu negative, but also for Christian and Islamic negative. Why they are not doing like that? They are biased. They should, they should get the position. That is what they expect. They want to get the reward, the name and fame from the rulers. And they want to project their picture in the print media and the TV media. And for which they do everything and anything. Unfortunately, our media also give undue publicity for them, undeserved publicity for them. Still one thing is sure, they will not live long in the mind of the people. People can assess, people can evaluate, people can understand, people can estimate the quality of the so-called atheists and so-called intellectuals and so-called progressives and so-called radicals from their words and their deeds. Even though physically they may not die, 
but mentally, intellectually, they will die from from the thoughts and mind of the people. And uh, the so-called atheists and so-called progressives and so-called communists, they will definitely come back to the Hindu fold. Majority of them are Hindus. Majority of them have finally changed into the changed into the level of believers. From non-believers to believers. Some of the Christian communists have gone back to Christian fold. Particularly from Marxist party. From CPI also. Communist party of India also. They have gone back to Christian fold. Many Muslims have gone back to Muslim fold. And definitely at the end when they become useless. The Hindus also will come from the fold of atheist. Like Vaila Ramavarma. Like Pavanan, like partly Joseph Adamaruga. But those who have got nothing in their brain, whether they come back or not, nobody bothers about it. It will happen. That is the reason why I criticize atheists. Again, I repeat, not criticizing. I point out their biased, negative approach towards a particular religion. An intellectual, a progressive is expected to criticize the negatives of the people independent of their caste, religion and political affiliation. If they are not doing that, they will never survive. But pointing their negative to the society is our responsibility. Particularly those who do not expect anything in return. No award, no bouquet, no padmasri, no honor. Those type of people can inform others these are the facts and truths. I think it is clear to you, my pronouns.